Hey everyone, here's a really short video of how I created my page. First I went and I have a, a 12 by 12 scrapbooking page. I went to my background paper and I'm going to add the Riding Hood Red to my background. Then I'm going to come over here, I'm going to grab my punch and I'm going to grab my square punch and pull it over. Then I'm just going to expand my square punch to the size that I want. And I want it to be about there. And then I'm going to just drag it down a little bit to where I want it. And we're going to color fill it with the Very Vanilla. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the Design Center and I select my stamp add my stamp and I'm going to look for the Day of Gratitude which is a download that you can purchase and I'm going to add my large medallion first so here it is and I'm going to change the color to the pumpkin pie and then I'm just going to copy and come off into the side and paste and I'll put another one here and paste one more time and bring another one over here. Next, I'm going to go back to add a stamp. I'm going to add the leaf to. And then I'm going to add this. And you can see I'm overlaying this image, the paper that I'm going to do, but I'm going to show you a really neat trick to cover all that afterwards. So I'm going to make that early espresso copy and you can paste as much as you want. Also you can flip in different directions so that they're not quite all the same. And the last one I'm going to add is the leaf one. And I'm going to put that right here. Let me flip it around a little bit. Change the color to the uh, Riding Hood Red. And I'll copy and paste. Flip it around. And then I will paste. Let me see if I can get one more in there. And if not, then I'll just delete it. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to bring over another square punch and you're going to make it the entire length of the width and then I'm just going to bring it down here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the color fill within the punch and select the writing hood red and then all I have to do is just using my, air, my cursor is bring it down just to where it meets and hides that other line now everything behind here is hidden in all the images. So all I'm going to do is copy. I'm going to come down here and paste. And I'm just going to do the same thing by adding this down here. Come up just to where the line is. And that is how I created my page. And then all I did was I went back in and added my final touches with the picture. You can see where it gets started. And then here is how it looks. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Thanks!